I never realized how little I knew about memory cards until I started researching them. They're absolutely baffling, right? Let's go over the key points, make sure that people don't waste their money paying way more for an SD card than they than they necessarily will get out of it. Compatibility. SD cards are pretty much universally compatible. You can stick any SD card into any camera and it will probably work just fine. But more expensive is not more better. If you don't shoot action, sports or wildlife, if you don't shoot say 4K video, then I suggest you just get yourself a cheap SD card. It probably won't make any difference. We've never noticed any differences in reliability. In fact, the inner workings are usually just exactly the same. So here's a link. Even if you do shoot those things, I suggest you go buy a handful of cheap SD cards and then hide them in your glove compartment and your office desk and your purse and your wallet or whatever because they will save your butt at some point. At some point, you're going to leave the house without an SD card. Look, this is a whole letter somebody wrote to me because they took my recommendation and it saved their entire shoot. Never close an empty door. You know that door that goes to your memory card slot? Once you take your memory card out, leave that door open. That way, the next time you go to pick up your camera, you'll see that there's no memory card in there. Otherwise, you will walk out of the house without an SD card in your camera. That is the organized chaos that goes down in our house, just leaving the door open. Memory cards are labeled with a baffling array of ways to convey the speed. Like this one card here, it says 1000X, a 3 with a U in it, a 10 in a big C in it. Class 10. And then it has 150 MB slash S. So it's not good enough to just be like, it's got all the things. This one's great. The only thing you have to care about is the MB slash S. If it says that, you don't have to worry about anything else. This tells you the megabytes per second. And it's just simple math. If the raw files are 30 megabytes, then you could write five raw files per second if it's 150 megabytes per second. Divide that by the size of the files. Just look at your actual pictures to see how big they are. But the problem is that this speed that they write on the card is often not the speed that you actually get. You can go to cameramemoryspeed.com. They have a bunch of different actual cards measured with common cameras. So you can see what the actual performance is. But oftentimes uh, you might get mm, 30 megabytes per second out of this or 70 megabytes per second out of this. So this speed does not necessarily mean anything because it's very specific to which camera you put it in. If you're trying to shoot 4K video, you want to look for something that's 30 megabytes a second or more. Class 10, I've been asked about this often when people are asking about our art and science series. It's on an SD card and people want to make sure it's a class 10 card. Class 10 is conveyed by the 10 in a, inside a C. Yeah. And that means 10 megabytes per second. The problem is that there's also UHS classes, which are completely different. UHS classes are shown in the little bucket here. A UHS class one is 10 to 30 megabytes per second and a UHS class three, that's three in a bucket, is 30 megabytes a second or more. So if you're doing 4K video, you probably want this. But they also provide speed using this X system. Do you remember CD-ROMs? I mean, vaguely. Well, CD-ROM speed used to be like the number of times the actual CD playing speed. They still use this standard from CD-ROMs. That's why it says 1000X. It's saying it's 1000 times faster than those old timey CD-ROMs that you used to use. This is so boring. I know. They also lie about the speeds. It says 64 gigabytes. It's actually less than 60 gigabytes, just a little bit. And can I just make a complaint? I hate the locks on SD cards. There's these little locks here. And this is like old timey floppy drives used to have these it's locks. It's so cute. Why do you hate it? Because sometimes it either slides off like this or it breaks off completely. And then you cannot write to your memory card. Chelsea, plug our stuff. Just buy a book. I don't want to talk about it. You can learn so much more about photography, taking pictures. We have books that can teach you about post-processing pictures. We even have a book that can help you find the gear that's right for you. Go to sdp.io slash door. That's where it's all at. So I, well, so I don't know anything about SD cards, so I'll just buy the most expensive one. A lot of people do that, but they are just wasting their money, and you can spend that money on something fun. Uh, a bike helmet. Or um, a pair of socks with, they have ones with tacos on them. Mm -hmm. what, are, what else might you spend some money on? That's it. Those are the only two things on your, I guess I know what I'm getting <laughs> you for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Thank you.